Hey everybody, my name is Spike Chen. For today's video, we're going to be taking apart a TBS 2300 supercharger from Magnuson. Uh, the reason why we're doing it is because I have had some horrible luck with this blower for my racing program. Um, I run it on a LS1 inside a 240SX, um, pushing anywhere between 16 to 20 pounds of boost, and I have had a lot of breakages and failures. One time the blower actually uh, blew off the top of my car, not to my own issue. Um, but so right now the um, the internal shaft for the TVS 2300 is broken. So something's wrong with the supercharger where the rear belt still turns, but the supercharger is not turning. So rather than sending it into Magnuson and get it uh, rebuilt, I'm going to take a look at it myself, see maybe this is something I can fix. Um, and I'm sure this is going to happen in the future again. Uh, the supercharger is not very reliable at the moment. So. Um, I'll have to probably take this apart again in the future and I don't want to have to ship it out and wait two weeks and spend a bunch of money and ship it back again every time. So I'm going to look at it. Hopefully I can fix it myself. And uh, actually I've never seen what the inside of a TVS 2300 looks like. Uh, and I'm sure you guys are curious as well. Give you feedback on the supercharger. Maybe you guys had some really good experiences or had some issues with the TVS 2300 as well. Or you don't boost the car, force induction, anything you guys want to post on the bottom. Just uh, include it in the description and I'll respond to all the messages I get. Also, if you can take the time right now, uh, smash the subscribe button. And uh, we have a couple of really awesome projects coming along, including a LS1 budget build. How we're going to build a reliable LS1 motor that can take out about six to, uh, six to 700 horsepower. And the other build we have coming up is a LS7 uh, force induction build. So stay tuned, subscribe, uh, click on the notification bell up top, and uh, let's get this started. Spike Chin out. All right, first things first, we're going to pull off the injectors. We're going to pull them off. And you want to dump out the fuel. I'm just gonna take a rag. This is crazy. You know what's crazy? I just cleaned these like three laps ago. And you guys can see there's already crud on there. So I don't, man, this is crazy. Anyways. I don't know where that stuff is coming from. Look at that. Just clean these injectors two laps ago. E85, man. All right, so we're going to put them in a bag, and then later on, I'm actually going to hit them with some uh, penetrating oil so they don't rust. So I'm going to take off the fuel reel real quick. All right, the fuel rail. The reason why these are a little bit hard is because I put some um, fuel rail locking material on there. That's pro tip for you guys. <laughs> Not that I'm pro, but that's pro two tip. Uh, put a little bit of anti-seize on there so they don't back out and you don't have an engine fire. Rail comes out. I'm going to set that aside. Of 
course the protectors. Once again, all gunked up. Man. So, the next thing I'm going to pull off is I'm going to pull off the pulleys. Next thing I'm going to pull off is the pulleys right here. So when you assemble them, um, they're 10 millimeter bolts, but I put them Loctite as well. Okay. So let's see what else is next. I actually absolutely have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm just pulling this thing apart as a uh Actually, I have uh, no idea what I'm doing, so absolutely none, but we're gonna... So all this happened in the last day, all this oil. Yeah, off-road only. Yeah, Just say on-road only. So, okay. So we're gonna take these off. So this one right here is the adjuster. Uh, it adjusts the belt tension. So when normally you would have this loose and then it lets you adjust the belt tension there. And then in the front, All this stuff that's coming off, 
all this black stuff, that's all my belt. So, and then the other modification that I had to make was I had to weld, tack weld, the outside ring onto this uh, wash, um, the outside metal ring. Another modification I, another modification I had to make was I had to tack weld the outside metal pulley part to the actual bearing because it was working itself loose. So that's something else I found out. Okay, we're going to take off the front uh, cover plate, or the front throttle body snout, whatever you guys want to call it. 13, nope. 12. This is my little bracket I made for the gas pedal throttle cable okay so this actually was a I think a 92 but I took a I took a um, plasma cutter and I just cut off cut out the o-ring lip that was in here and then I roughed it out, so now it's a 102. So now it fits the bigger throttle body. Pretty easy mod. Okay, so now it looks like This is the, um, well, <laughs> this is where the water goes in and out of the built-in intercooler. So I'm going to leave the nut there, but I'll take this off. I'll show you guys that in a second. So now what it looks like is it looks like the supercharger is secured from the bottom and we're going to have to take these deck bolts off, right? We're going to have to open up the lid. And uh, so let's get started doing it on that. I'm going to start from the other side. And if you have a 10 like this, it really helps out. Okay, well, it's loose. Okay, all right. Well, it's already loose. Some of these are pretty stuck. Got them loose. This one's loose. Uh. 
Oh, I thought that was going to be a strip. I think the last one are these two up front. Should be it. All right, so here she comes. All right, you guys ready? Oh yeah, what is that? Huh. Okay, so I'll take a look at that. That's very interesting. I'm not sure where this oil is coming from. It might be from my car, or it might be from the supercharger. But my car actually, um, It doesn't smell really stinky like the gear oil stuff, so maybe this is from my car. But my car doesn't actually have the PVC hooked up, so there shouldn't be any oil here. Okay, so let's flip this over. And let's see what's going on. Okay, so there's all these little extra O-rings. I'm just gonna pick them out, and I'm gonna put them 